praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Minister Paul and Gail. Uh, we're in Northern California. I just, listen, I just was given the biggest revelation of my entire walk with Christ that began in the early or to mid 70s. The biggest revelation, and it was while I was in intense prayer over this verdict that the world awaits. They're getting their final instructions right now. It was the exact day. I was not even thinking of this trial. I was in there praying to our God, man. I was praying to our God and his presence was there. And then he reveals things. It, it's like it's not in your mind. It's not in your stomach. It's like in your spirit. It's like God just knowingly and with all authority and finality, I want to say, of knowledge, like the the final authority on knowledge gives you this fact in the spiritual realm that you're not allowed to have in your flesh realm. And his spirit drops that knowledge he has of his knowledge. And not your knowledge. Because in your mind, that's your knowledge. He drops his knowledge. And this is not even the revelation. Into your spirit. When his spirit is dwelling within you. And lined up with his word. Whew. And, and, and this is the revelation I got. You're looking on your screen, you're looking at a, a, a video on my main channel, Minister Paul, which has been paused again till this Sunday. It's 4-19-21, and we're out here on the West Coast, so that's PST. In this revelation, just a moment ago, as we wait for them to dismiss the jury right now in real time, he says, boom, and it's his knowledge. And it was, it, it, it is like, I didn't know just one thing. Like, I want to talk about a man named Prophet Morgan here in Northern California, who everything he says under the anointing of God comes to pass. And what he spoke over in my life, this Prophet Morgan, Here's here here he is in the video right now. He's the speaker, and I don't call very many people prophet at all. But this man spoke over my life, and it all came to pass. And I'm thinking, and I've even been saying in my flesh bag suit, you know, this this 100% came to pass. I mean, I remember even at a revival a few years later, he was speaking again. And of course, I'm going to be there. The man spoke into my life, right? And, and a few years later, and I said, I'm sitting behind him. And, and, and I told him, I said, hey, <laughs> thank you, Jesus, man. Thank you, Jesus, man. I said, hey, I said, do you know back in, April, this is what I told him, back in April of 2007, you spoke, 2007, you spoke over my life. And I told him, every single word you spoke over my life has come to pass. And he's like, oh, and he was, it was just like, he was uplifted and edified and he turned to his two brothers on, on the right and he began to tell him, hey, this guy just told me everything. I said, you know what I mean? I mean, that's amazing. But it's, it's happened since then. The man speaks for God with, with the evidence of it and the truth. So he speaks this over my life. And here it is again, what? April. When we're morning of 419, 
My wife even had 419 in a dream. It started showing up everywhere with the 37. The stock market 137. The S&P 22.2. All these things lining up. He says, not everything was revealed in that prophecy. And I must fulfill every single word. And so this breakthrough occurred in the spirit realm and it just all poured into me. And I went to the throne boldly. I went to the bold, boldly to the throne of grace to obtain mercy. That's what scripture says. Let us therefore come boldly to the throne of grace to obtain mercy. And so I went to that throne. I was probably about a, a million miles from it. I don't know, but I felt close. Shut it up. And I said, dear God, please don't strike me. Please don't smite me. Because I proposed to speak for you also. And it was the revelation he just spared, uh, uh, re revealed to me about Prophet Morgan and speaking over my life. And we'll go watch it right here. And it was in April. 4.11. This is hard, man. I, I press on towards the mark of the high calling of Christ Jesus. And he said that, he said, go listen to the last part. And the last part of the prophecy is, he says, God will, listen, I've never been more serious in my life, saints, if you believe anything I said. This man spoke for God. And God visited me today and spoke for, reminded me of what that guy said. And that it was from the same God I'm professing to speak for. That's it. And he told me the event is on. That's the update. The event is on. And in my revelation, the prophet, he speaks, he said, God will give you the victory over your flesh because you've been called to war. God has called you to war. So get ready for I will use you as a battle ram. All of that came to pass, too, in my YouTube ministry of 10 years. And I'm like, prophecy fulfilled. But here's the thing. Saints, here's the, here's the major revelation for my life. I don't have the victory over my flesh. I've been called to war. You've been called to war, says the Spirit of the Lord, he says. The same God I confess to speak for. He said, I will give you the victory over your flesh. That hasn't happened. For you've been called to war. At what point do we get the victory over our flesh? I believe what he's saying is, it's time for you to get serious, Paul. Because the war's here. And everything I spoke through Prophet Morgan on that day, I made it line up to the same day I showed your wife right in the sky. 419 today at the exact moment the event is about to start and now i'm going to give you the victory over your flesh that and that alone would complete that prophecy 100 percent. i think it's time i'm going to play it i'm going to play it right now and it has a video and you can watch make this viral you claim your victory. You get into your, 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 you, your, you get into your secret place and you serve your God and you claim your victory because it came when that blood of Jesus hit the ground from his body hanging on the cross. That is when you got the victory over your flesh it's already been written 
Here we go. Here's the prophecy. You've been called to war, he says. Did I, did I say everything has come to pass? Is that because that's that that this is just a confirmation, dude? Look, look at me. See, even I erred. I didn't have the victory over my flesh, but I did receive the call to war. And I'm like, God, how can I go into a spiritual battle according to your holy word without having the victory over my flesh? And something changed in me. I said 4-11, that's April. Exactly 10 years ago. The exact amount of time I've been on YouTube. What's the revelation? David Morgan prophecy for me while I was at the back of the room doing security. You see the security? That's a warning. Every word came to pass. Now my testimony today to you saints on 419.21 is I erred. And yet I still feel the presence of God. And if there's anybody else out there that can come to the throne of grace and say, I've never erred, then reveal yourself. Because only Jesus can do that. It's a mighty, amazing thing that's occurred in my life that I can't explain. But not every word did come to pass until today. Thank you, Jesus. I just hear the Lord saying, I am pleased with your heart. I am pleased with your heart. Don't ever stop worshiping Him the way you do. Don't let anyone stop you from worshiping Him the way you do. God's going to use you in ways that you choose have you yet fathomed? There's going to be some things that God's going to do in your life. I, I, I see Him bringing you into a new place, a place, a, a, a different place of consecration and separation. Because God wants to reveal to you some things. He's been trying to speak to you, but you've been here, you've been there, you've been running around. I see a whirlwind all around you. But God says He's going to hallelujah, He's going to cause that whirlwind to slow down. And you're going to begin to hear the voice of God. You're going to begin to understand the call of God. God says that you're no accident, it is no coincidence, but truly, I will set you, I will set you, I will set you, says the Spirit of the Lord, and you will know that you have been set, and then you will see a transformation begin to move, hallelujah, the struggles will quit, the battle will quit, I'm not talking about the enemy, I'm talking about your flesh, God will give you the victory over your flesh, so that you can battle the battle with the enemy, because he's calling you to war. You've been called to war, says the Spirit of the Lord. So get ready. Get ready. Your eye will use you as a battle ram. That's past. That's that's still to this day the pastor that sent me out, Pastor Larry Bergens, to his right from Sacramento, California, and his wife Olga Bergens sit down in the chair. You know, at we were having a revival and no one showed up. My wife showed up. Yeah, no one showed up for the revival. That was two thousand seven. But the man of God spoke what he was supposed to speak. And that just fulfilled 100% today. On the same three numbers that 
my wife serving the same God I do, in the same spirit I do, was shown 419. 419. And now God says, the event is on. Please share this. Forget about YouTube's agenda for a moment and share the message.